Hey everyone, Nat Richards from Techs on the Move here, talking briefly about the key to loving your job. So it might seem like an unusual thing for me to be uh, wasting space talking about, but ultimately we feel really strongly that uh, loving your job, whether you're a motor mechanic, truck mechanic, panel beater, whatever it might be, is a really important thing, not just for your own happiness, but also for your ability to uh, get on with your job, grow your career, meet your own personal goals, and really drive everything forward. So it's pretty understandable, I think, that most people that get into some form of automotive trade do it because originally they've got a passion for the thing that they end up servicing, fixing, maintaining every single day. But it's only natural that that fades away over time too. Uh, you know, we all uh, you know, grow up from being younger people. Uh, life beats us down a little bit with uh, everyday pressures and stresses and finances and all of that fun adult stuff. And it can be easy to lose uh, connection with uh, you know, why we got into a particular trade in the first place and really what makes us tick. So replacing uh, that with something that we, we can hold on to over time I think is really, really important. And for us, that comes down to two major facets that we bang on about quite a lot uh, that we think are really important to being a, a really successful modern uh, mechanic or technician, and that is drive and professionalism. It doesn't matter who you are, where you're from, what sort of uh, mechanic you are, or what sort of stage of a career you're at, we think drive and professionalism are really important. Drive meaning the thing that gets you out of bed every morning to come into work and hopefully make the best of it. Why do you go there in the first place beyond just a paycheck? There's gotta be another reason and hopefully something that you can really take a lot of pride in. And professionalism doesn't mean putting on a, a suit and tie before you show up to the workshop every morning, but instead having a very clear idea around what you'd like to achieve with that job and where it might take you in the long term. And that's different for everybody. Uh, and uh, hopefully also, of course, part of being a professional is that not just that improvement, but sharing it with those around you and making sure that you're treating others with respect and demanding it back yourself. Uh, and that's something that it doesn't really matter whether you're still an apprentice or you've been in the trade for a million years, everyone can aspire toward professionality to back up their drive. Uh, these things are, are really character traits. They're not something that you learn as part of your core trade skills, and they're the hardest things to find, I think, in the open market when employers are looking for good mechanics to come and work for them. We certainly find it that way as well. However, it's what our clients really want. You know, trade skills are super important. It goes without saying that if you can't do the job on a basic level, it's not gonna work. But above and beyond that, uh, these extra facets of, of the, uh, the role performed well, like drive, professionality, it all being part of why people uh, that are successful really love their job, enjoy coming to work and do well when they're there. Um, these are the things that people uh, are looking for when they're, they're looking for their next uh, hire for the workshop. And so are we. So if you think that you've got what it takes, or you want to talk a little bit more about these concepts and how you can bring them into your life, or maybe you want to talk about what you're already doing, please don't hesitate to let us know. Uh, you can grab me at nat.richards at textonthemove.com.au. We'd love to hear from you. Cheers.